My name is Susan Rushton, and I run Silver Screen Classic Movie Series the first Saturday of the month of the, in the Beecher Room of the Auburn Library, 350 Nevada Street in Auburn. I show these movies three times at noon, 3.30, and 7.30 p.m., and because the library presents the series, they're free. Thank you very much, library and the county. Um, but we, we'd be delighted to sell you popcorn. I'm talking today about September's movie, Double Indemnity. This movie uh, comes out as, as, I'm showing this movie on September 7th, which is the first Saturday of the, of the month. Double Indemnity stars Fred McMurray and Barbara Stanwyck. And here's what I say about it in the silver screen brochure. Sexy Barbara Stanwyck catches Fred McMurray's eager, roaming eye. They plot to murder her husband and make off with the insurance. So much lust, so much scheming, so much darkness. This can't end well, and we know it. The, 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 move, the book from, from which this movie was made is by um, James M. Kane. And he says that it's the only picture I ever saw made from my books that had things in it I wish I had thought of. That's perfect. This movie is, is filled with sensuality, double-crossing, sex, and more sex, and suspicion. It's a perfect movie for Barbara Stanwyck and Fred McMurray in this, in this story, which was, as I said, is from 1944, which, was, which means we're in the middle of the production code era, which started in 1935 or four, I can't remember, and uh, ended in the mid-60s. This, the production code had a stranglehold on the studios at that time, and the first rule of the production code said that no, no picture will be made that will lower the morals of anybody watching. So if, in particular, if a woman liked sex, she could not end up happy. She could not. She might conceivably live, but she could not be happy. Even if she were married and they were forced to sleep in a double bed, a sing, uh, two single beds, um, it was it was just crazy and uh, very annoying. But it made for some interesting stories. This one, with Fred McMurray and Barbara Stanwyck, hot for each other. We we know what's going to happen. They cannot win, but but it's it make we get to watch them hang on to each other for a while. We know Barbara Stanwyck is a bad woman because she's married and she, she accepts the, the, a visitation from Frederick Burry in the middle of the afternoon when her husband isn't home. She's just got out of the bath and she's wrapped in a, in a bath towel and we see her anklet. A married woman wearing an anklet, horrors. We know the kind of woman she is automatically. We also, as, and we are, we are handicapped in our knowledge of Fred McMurray now. Um, we remember him most recently in the endlessly long TV series, My Three Sons. And we remember him in his Disney movies. In, in both shows, Every time he was, he was a nerdy, kind, nice guy, not at all exciting, and certainly not sexy. That was long before his film career. I'm sorry, that was long after his film career. In his film career, he was a, 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 a cool musician, for one thing. That, that came first, because that's how, he's early, how he early made his living. But afterwards, he was a ladies' man, a musician who was cool and a ladies' man. And he certainly is convinced of his sexuality and his attractiveness here. So we, he, he's convinced that no, no woman in an anklet is going to say no to him. 
And so she's convinced that since he's, he's enamored with her, that he will do her bidding. This is about insurance salespeople, which is really, which really makes me love this movie very much because how can you make selling insurance exciting? It's a basic, ordinary, necessary, white collar, middle-aged man with middle-aged woman's job. But they make it sexy and they make it interesting. For one thing, the thing one of the things I really love about this movie is that they never show um, Fred McMurray sitting at his desk, except at the, at the beginning when he's narrating his, this story. He's been shot. Um, but most of the time he's in the office with his hat on. And once we see him sitting on his desk talking to his boss, Keyes, who is played to the hilt by one of my favorite character actors, Edward G. Robinson. Edward G. Robinson plays Keyes really wonderfully. Keyes loves the insurance business. And what, what is there about the insurance business to love? But he loves it. He's a scholar. He knows it inside out. He's memorized things. Even It's not even memorizing. This is his life. He loves it. And he knows almost immediately that there's something wrong with this double indemnity clause, with this with this with this situation. This woman's husband has died, but he committed suicide by jumping off a train when it was going five, 15 miles an hour. How can anybody do that with any expectation of killing himself? Hmm. <laughs> this is a wonderful movie. I would love to see you there September 7th. It's the first Saturday in September for Double Indemnity from 1944. If you want to know more information, log on to auburnsilverscreen.com or send me an email, info at auburnsilverscreen.com. And please join me as we celebrate an age long gone but fondly remembered. Thank you. Uh -huh.